Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'll be reviewing this. This is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Starscream. Now this is core class Starscream. You can see on the top, it says WFC K12, part of wave two of the Kingdom line. Very cool looking art on the package. Here's the back of the package. Transforms in 17 steps. Okay, let's get Starscream out of the package. Here is Core Class Starscream out of the package. He comes with his instruction sheet, two weapons, basically his null rays, and Starscream himself. Let's put his weapons on his arm. You can also put his weapons in his hand, like so, but uh, looks way better on the arm here. And here we have Starscream. Let's take a closer look at him here. I wish the head had some light piping so that the eyes could stand out a lot more. But it uh, looks like the surface detail matches that of Earthrise Starscream. Like the surface detail on the arms. I wish there was some paint apps down here on the legs, but uh, that can be easily fixed. He basically does kind of look like a miniaturized Earthrise Starscream. Except when you go to the back and you can see what eventually becomes the Jet's nose cone. I wish there were some Decepticon symbols here, but I do have some extra Toy Hacks decals, so I'll probably apply it on him. But overall, having the look of Starscream, he pretty much has it. It looks really great. I think it looks a lot better than the prior Seeker mold we got in this scale uh, during the Prime Wars trilogy. He does have some hollowness here on the inside, but I guess the hollowness is mostly hidden. So for here, underneath the arm, I'm pretty sure somebody will make some fillers for him. Moving on to articulation of the figure, the head can actually rotate 360, but it's very tight. But you'll see me rotate it completely for transformation. The arms are on a ball joint. Now the wing can move out of the way, so you can rotate it fully. Elbow is also on a ball joint, so a lot of mobility there. There is no waist articulation, which is fine for a figure this size. The legs are on a ball joint, so you can kick this far up, this far back, and do the splits. No thigh rotation and the knees are also on a ball joint as well so you can bend it like so well, that's about it for articulation still very well articulated for a figure this size and for some size comparisons in robot mode here is kingdom core class starscream next to core class optimus prime and core class megatron as you can see prime and megatron are slightly taller than starscream and here he is next to core class rat trap and vertebrake Okay, let's get Starscream transformed into jet mode. Here's Starscream in his jet mode, and he pretty much looks the part. Very nice looking, actually. Surprisingly satisfying transformation. A little bit more unique than what we've got in the past with Starscreams of this scale. But uh, yeah, bottom of the figure, you definitely see robot parts, like the arms. But from the top, he definitely looks the part. It would have been nice if they molded the thrusters of the jet in the back instead of giving him this just flat feet here. So to me, that's a little miss opportunity. No landing gear or anything, but again, at this scale, not really expecting much. And for some size comparisons in vehicle mode, here is Core Class Starscream next to Core Class Optimus Prime and Megatron. And uh, I think he fits pretty well, at least in vehicle mode. Okay, let's get Starscream transformed into robot mode for my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on Kingdom Core Class Starscream. Overall, pretty pleased with the figure. I mean, he has a nifty little transformation. Articulation is pretty good. The robot mode is pretty spot on. I mean, he does have some hollowness, but um, still a nice nifty little figure for the size and price. But in the grand scheme of things in collecting Kingdom, um, not really required. In fact, I believe we're getting a reissue of Earthrise Starscream in Kingdom. And so if you had to choose between either version, I'd rather get the higher priced Voyager uh, Starscream. But uh, this guy is just probably a nice little fun desk toy to have to represent that character. I know that's what I'll be using him for. 
uh, for my collection. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Follow us on social media and check out our Discord. Links in the description below.